If you want to unify destruction in simple way, I think you are in the right place. I got a bottle of Patron and some light sauce. Two red devil looking eyeballs. And I finna turn up when the night falls. If you hear a siren, then it's my fault. Jump in my whip, baby, let's ride. We ain't gonna stop at a red light. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. Okay, let's begin. You see, with technology advancing, everything becomes fast and simple to achieve these days, especially with these powerful GPUs and AI. And for example, achieving good and awesome destruction in Houdini often can be complicated these days. So we are working toward this goal to achieve amazing destruction in simple yet clever way. So to achieving this goal, we have amazing Destruction X digital asset for Houdini. If you're not familiar with that, I highly recommend to see these videos. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Destruction X So we have cool object in this release as you can see so uh, we have a destruction x we remove the input mode it's now uh, detected automatically as you can see normal geometry or mix geometry for rbd uh, packed and uh, simulation if you have a pre cache simulation and we have duration for a uh, real impact it will uh, determine the uh, time warp duration and of course we have the thickness for the ground you see sometime the ground is it's not thick enough it will produce artifacts so this parameter it's so awesome so we have this sort of from previous video this is the car uh, fracture by rbd material fracture and i pack that and i uh, cache this simulation using file cache node so now with that, we can create a destruction X from Dyson menu, fancy, and we can connect that. And as you can see, it's detected as a simulation input, and this is the guide. So now the UI is simpler, it's combined with pieces, pyro, and the dust. And as you can see, we have trail as a smoke, this is uh, not new. And now we added fire to the trail, this is awesome, and you can control the length of that by this cooling rate you see you can uh, increase that and it will cool faster uh, the fire will cool faster so this is an awesome and of course you can have the both element to the trails you see the fire and the smoke this is awesome thing to have another thing we worked on its explosion it's independent explosion now and as you can see it's have a smoke and fire and it can apply to the real impact you see now we have just smoke explosion this is awesome for the dust for example or dirt or we can have just fire you see this is explosion on real impact happening or you can have the both it's simple and awesome you see that and this is applied just for the real impact. Now you can apply this explosion to the pieces. You see, amazing. This is awesome and simple to achieve. It will detect the collision geometry and it will uh, have a explosion for each pieces you select in this section. Pieces selection by uh, pieces size, the minimum uh, or pieces speed. You see, this is global for all the element explosion dust and trails you see and you can uh, multiply the size of the explosion this is awesome and you can have a trail for example you can you can uh, combine all these elements let me see in matter of fact you see we have amazing trails and explosion wow love it now let's see the dust section let's go to the dust selection visualization and as you can see i am uh, selecting the pieces i want to have a dust and now we can apply it to pieces now let me show you this is uh, simple it's not uh, something new you see we have dust for every pieces we selected and of course uh, now we can apply that to the explosion you see 
now pieces can be have uh, explosion dust you see amazing love it and of course you can replace this point uh, with your debris of course and of course now we have all these element together you see we have the dust we have the smoke and real impact explosion and pieces explosion bro this is so huge just with one note so if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content so let's see this digital asset from another angle for example we have uh, this house and we have this mountain and i want to have a simulation in simple way of course so let's create rbd configure no no uh, in matter of fact let me create rbd uh, material fracture awesome i want to turn that to the pieces every piece every pieces you need and of course let's create rbd pack let's pack that so in another hand for this uh, mountain i want to create rbd configure and set the active to the zero that's mean static of course and i want to uh, pack that now let's uh, create destruction x amazing and let's connect this to this and and now let me see it's uh, calculating and of course let's uh, visualize that to the pieces and as you can see we have our pieces here and this is amazing you can see uh, your pieces and adjust the look of your pieces and now uh, let's connect uh, the mountain to the guide okay let's uh, have the simulation and something odd happening it's where is the collision we have the collision but it's not there yet let me see maybe i want to reset the simulation okay i guess we have the collision but we need to enable the visualization i forgot that sorry so we have uh, this uh, collision on the visualization and voila we have the mountain so this is simple destruction i'm not talking about the look of this destruction i i have a point for this so we have this sphere and we have uh, a lot of density to it with mass and the bounce uh, and i want to merge it with this input so i want to have a uh, active or dynamic geometry hitting this house so i want to enable real impact and the frame of real impact for example i want to go with 200 for now just i want to see when the sphere hit the house so let's play do not forget to reset the simulation of course and let's see you see maybe in this frame so let's set 64 the frame of a real impact and let's uh, reset the simulation and let's play as you can see it's good simulation it's not bad so we're gonna work with that if you remember we talked about npm solver in the last week video so this is a new solver in houdini 20.5 and this is an awesome and fast solver but not with the concrete this was an issue so with that we had an idea so let's manipulate this setup so let me disconnect this merge and let's connect it with the first input and now i want to create npm source this is first phase to integrate it uh, npm solver to uh, destruction x so as you can see we have the error in here we need container you can uh, drag destruction x node but you can add this slash and container npm that will solve the problem because we have a npm container in the, the destruction x as you can see this will resolve the problem and on npm source we don't have any particle because our surface it's flat you can change the type to the surface or you can turn that to the volume and create a volume for your mesh using uh, poly extrude for example you see don't have anything uh, do not forget to check this output back it will surround uh, your geometry so now as you can see we have the, this thick snow amazing and as you can see we have this uh, house and 
Now we have this NPM solver section. This is solver quality. This is particle uh, separation. And of course, and let's see, let's play. And you see all the snow, it's falling. This is the problem. We have holder here. It will create uh, the same mesh with the offset uh, beneath that. And as you can see, we have uh, interaction with uh, MPM solver. RBD solver and MPM solver, amazing. And let me show you, you see, this is amazing. All the pieces is interact interacting with the snow. Wow, love it. So you can file cache that and use another node to add the element we talked about before, you see? Wow, love it, you see? Just with one node, you have the smoke, pyro, fire, and you have NPM solver, RBD solver. We are trying to create unified simulation in here, unified uh, node uh, contain all these power of Houdin. So this is experimental, of course. We make it better and better in every version. For example, uh, one of you guys uh, told us about this glass uh, uh, fracture parameter and yeah, buddy, it's fixed. And as you can see, this is destruction X0.3 yet. Just with one node, you have the power of NPM solver, the power of RBD solver, and the power of Pyro solver. This is a huge guy. And of course, this node is available on my Patreon in the shop section. This is lifetime investment, guys. We don't have any licensing or anything else. And yeah, with that, big shout out for these amazing, awesome people. Thank you, guys. Have fun with our content. Goodbye.